My name is Katra Byram. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Germanic Languages and Literatures, and I study German literature and culture and narrative theory. Narrative theory is essentially the study of how stories work, how the different aspects and forms of a story shape how we understand the story and how we respond to it. So it's the study of how the structure of a story actually affects what a story means. I'm particularly interested in the relationship between social context and stories, probably because I study German literature in an American context. Currently, I'm working on a project about memoirs and novels about mothers and grandmothers of the World War II era. And I'm interested in the way that they work with existing cultural knowledge and existing assumptions about gender roles um, to tell these stories of the war. What's interesting is that I have found that most of these stories are based on a very small number of story patterns, autobiography, family sagas, and trauma narratives. Trauma narratives, for example, um, there's a whole body of novels that has been written in about the last 10 years about women who experienced trauma during the war or just thereafter, and who as a result are bad mothers. They abandon their children, or they neglect them, or fail to love them. What's interesting is that this is a story that really only could have been told in the last couple of decades in the way these novels tell it, because it's only in this period of time that our current conception of trauma and its symptoms, PTSD, has become common knowledge, and all of the novels assume this common knowledge as they tell the story. It's also interesting to me that the prime proof of these women's trauma is their failure to be a good mother, because it shows, I think, how deeply embedded the assumption is that motherhood is natural, that it's natural for mothers to love and care for their children, and that when they don't, it means that there is something wrong with them, in this case, that they've been so badly damaged. It's interesting, especially because these are all novels that are actually about gender relations. Many of them are about sexual violence um, and the trauma of sexual violence, and yet they use this common idea of motherhood to argue against these gendered power relations. These novels have really shown me how deeply post-war German cultural memory has been affected by common stories, um, story patterns, and the gendered roles that they offer.